Responsibilities. Don't get upset, Lisa. This time to improve your grade. Really? Could you improve it now? Pretty please. I'd love to, but not before you've retaken the structure of a suit of armor, the features of invisibility hats, and the carrying capacity of flying carpets. Remember, tomorrow is your retake. That means you need to study today. It's your most important responsibility. Hey, Lisa, why do you look sad? <sighs> I have to retake my test tomorrow, and there's so much I need to study. How can I learn it all in one day? Huh, that's simple. There's a spell that can help. I'll show you how to do it. Just repeat after me. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. So I'm ready for the test? <laughs> no. You still have to do all the studying yourself. Oh. But now, you're not going to forget to study. Thanks, I think. The overall mobility of a suit of magic armor is ensured. With knuckles. No, wait, with buckles. Although knuckles would be more interesting. Hey, Lisa! We're having a frog race. Wanna jump in? It'll be fun. Doma even made a prize. Oh, so cute. Oh, but I need to study. We'll be quick. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On your marks. Get set and croak. And the winner is Lisa. Good well job, done. Lisa. <laughs> Wait, where's the prize? Archie, come on, did you take my prize? It couldn't be Archie, I can see right through him. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa, I'll show you another. When listing the most important features of standard invisibility hats, one mustn't forget... <gasps> Lisa, one of Miss Dragon's relatives flew in to visit. The Golden Dragon of the Seven Peaks. Is it true that he's all gold? Yep, from head to tail. Want to come see? Yes! Actually, uh, no. Sorry, I need to study. Oh, suit yourself. Excuse me, hi. Are you the Golden Dragon? I'd like to see you. Are you invisible? Ah, oh, I see why. It's hard when everyone's staring at you. I hear you have a beautiful glow. Could I at least see that? Thank you. Oh, guess that's better than no dragon at all. The maximum carrying capacity of passenger flying carpets is determined by... Lisa, hey! Come for a ride on the six-legged beast! Mooney's taught him how to jump over bushes! I can't go. I have carrying capacity. I mean studying. He learned to shake hands. No way, really? Come on! That was your fifth lap around. It's my turn now. We're almost done. Now it's time for the grand finale. Ready, go! <laughs> Six balls? Where are you going, Six balls? Baba Yaga, playing tricks. Toadstools hither, toadstools thither. Come to me and don't you hither. Please give six paws back to us. I don't have him. And why would I? I have enough responsibilities. Responsibilities? Of course, collecting toadstools, weaving nettles, and the fountain needs repairing. Hmm. <gasps> so that's where my prize went. Flying carpet here. You're covered in hair. From six paws. An invisibility hat. And golden dragon scales. I get it now. My responsibilities. 
Ah! Help! I'm being chased by my responsibilities! You're not done with them yet? Don't worry, this is just how the spell works. If you put off your responsibilities, they'll follow you around and get in the way of your distractions. How do I get rid of them, though? Huh. The same way as other tasks. You just do them. <sighs> all right, then. You all come with me. So here's what I learned from my own experience. First, that a gauntlet can huh. detach from a magic suit of armor and operate on its own. And second, that an invisibility hat can become big enough to hide anyone, even a huge dragon. And third, that a flying carpet can carry so much weight, even a six-legged beast doesn't bother it. Oh, great job, Lisa. Well done. You know, I used the responsibility spell myself recently. I had a paper to write. The pages wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> they rustled all night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. Are you coming or not? <gasps> mm -hmm. Go on. You were responsible. So now you can have some fun. The Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> an hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wowser than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head. And the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's keep going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! We're coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring. And in the summer. So, here come our star students, who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fire. You won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Oh, Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Uh, uh. <clears throat> or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> Didn't go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Bruni, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. <laughs> A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly, something must have happened. Oh, well. Perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why in a cage? But the dragon didn't do anything wrong! Stop! The dragon's good! 
Look, over there. Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's, dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Don't! <laughs> Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned. Your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. That dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. Prince Vasco. The magical dynasty of Woodstream is 5,000 years old. And now my father, Oakengrove, is the 252nd ruler. That was a very informative presentation, Princess Lisa. Thank you. And that is the end of our lesson. Our family started as fishermen. My great-great-grandfather caught a whale once, but they became friends, so he let it go. In Wisdom Land, all kings and queens are called the Wise. Our throne is set up in a library. There's still someone we don't know the tiniest bit about. Oh, uh, who? You know who. Tell us about your family. Do you have a castle? Are there any towers? Um, I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Huh? Why didn't you tell them about your family? It isn't like you're cursed or anything. The princesses, Levon! Princesses! I don't see how that's a problem. Of course you don't get it. You're from a royal family. You have a castle and you ride dragons. But me? I spent my childhood pulling weeds out. Would the princesses even still talk to me if they knew that? Vaska, we know everything! You do? But how? We read it! The Magic Herald says that the famous king of an ancient family has apparently sent his favorite grandson to the very best school of magic. Lucky kid, huh? This boy has natural talent. He could levitate before he even learned how to walk and flew off for ice cream. <laughs> Sounds great. Stop pretending. We know that it's you. Me? Mm. Of course. It's me. You guessed right. Yep, you win. It's me. And so to honor our prince from an ancient family, that's you, we cordially invite you to a royal picnic. Wow, a picnic. And we look forward to you showing off your amazing levitation ability. Maybe we could learn a thing or two. Piece of cake. Uh, levitation has to do with levers, right? Uh... I can't believe you agreed to this. Vasco, you don't even know what levitation is. Come on. This is my only chance to make them believe that I'm a prince. I just want to fit in. Okay. If it's that important to you, then my honor demands that I help you out. Rock on! But if you want to be more princely, then you should use more refined language. Do what I do. Light as air, soft as snow, soar above the ground below. Levit high, levit up. Lift your head and levy up. Now you give it a try. 
Left face, march. Very good. Now to the right. This nettle's turned out great. And it's well trained. Soon it'll be growing everywhere. Oh! And just look at their flower beds over there. They know nothing about beauty. Light as air, rotten dough. Oops, I mean soft as snow. I'll soar above you. Levitai, levitare, lift me in the air. Uh, it's impossible. I've been working on it for a whole hour and nothing. Double swamp potion. Now none of their magic will be able to touch you. Oh, my potion. I didn't even have a chance to finish making it yet. I'll never get this right. Stomp here, clap there. It just makes no sense. You'll get it. You just need to feel the magic in your bones, you know? Make it your own. <gasps> My magic! I forgot all about it! Ivan, you're a real friend! No, a genius! <sighs> well? Rock on! I mean, magnificent. <laughs> your attention, please! For the very first time, Prince Vaska will demonstrate his famous levitation. Hmm? <gasps> so you're the one interfering with my spell. Oh, you're in for it now. Nettle, ready on my command. Chase everyone away and seize the flower bed by the school. Wondermont will be ours. Onward! Uh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> My special nettles are magic resistant. Go! <laughs> isn't making them go away. Then we should deal with them without any magic at all. Watch and learn. Ah! Oh, what kind of ancient magic warrior technique is that? Well, it's actually called weeding. Who said you could retreat? Stop! I have enough medals in my yard already. Just like back home on the farm. <laughs> wow. Great job! Listen, I'm not some prince from an ancient family. I'm just Vasco from a long line of farmers. And I like you better this way, instead of being some fancy show-off. I wouldn't trade you for a million princes, my friend. Rock on! I guess being true to yourself is your best self. The Gingerbread Man. A glowing pudding. That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> on this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... Well, well, I've... Here. I wanted to make a Sweet Dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh, I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? Look, a self-filling tablecloth. It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you, too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. Yes! My homework is finally done. Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man. Everyone's going to love me. It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I 
you to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And I think I need to sleep. Rooney? Sweet dreams. Rooney? Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> we like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never managed to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth. But I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the wrong, wrong way, way around. around. That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dolma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Oh! Let's be friends. The recipe says we need some good night, Ginger. And a little common clove. Got it! Oh. It's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help pull him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. And bake. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, gingerbread man, look! It's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful Sweet Dreams gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right. <laughs> Flotation fever. It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Where 
Tony, it's your turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Doma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> It's so hot here. Strange. Oh no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh. Oh. oh, thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Okay? Quiet. <gasps> oh, oh no! <sighs> it's snowing. It's so nice and cool. Dorma, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Dorma, you're awake! Oh. Helen, look out! <gasps> what happened here? Dorma's awake. Doma, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was such a bad friend. I left you all alone. It's okay, Rooney. I was having such an amazing dream. I could move things through the air with my mind. Oh, I know. You moved all of our stuff outside. 
Did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! The Seven League Boots. Rooney, you need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh, dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. Oh, well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Rooney early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention, such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow. Those boots. They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh. I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Uh, oh, thank you, Rooney. Uh, What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! With her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye toads, tools, while ye may Stop that! I'm sorry! I'm not doing this on purpose! The boots won't stop! Now you've done it! Run to the enchanted swamp! At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden! Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this. It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win. <laughs> we'll see about that. Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore. What's happening? Oh, your boots unzipped. That must be why I can't control them. And Mama Yaga sent me to the swamp. Oh, no. This is all my fault. Hold on, Lisa! We'll save you! <laughs> run, run! Into the swamp where you belong! Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove! Someone oh. help me! I'll teach you a lesson! First it's your boots, then you use your stove to crush my toadstools! Lisa, take my hand! <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now! Show you both! Rooney, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney, thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! Uh, uh, what? what? I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? 
and the Seven League Boots. Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me, but you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up. And I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too. And clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> ah. Forget me not. Oh. Cheating! Rooney! Are you there? Did you forget about the exam? <laughs> I'm coming! What a pain! Oh, great! Our game's ruined! <sighs> you too? I was gonna study later anyway. It's just on magical trees. How hard could it be? Oh, that's the book? Magical Trees, an introductory course. Eternal apple trees, they always bear fruit. Ah, oh, candy trees, tree of knowledge. Oh dear. Right, what else does it say? The forget-me-nut, an endangered species with small blue flowers. Huh, that's funny. I saw some blue flowers today. Does that mean we have one of these trees? The nut improves memory and makes it possible to store massive amounts of knowledge. Of knowledge! Archie, that's exactly what we need! I could memorize everything. Now, where's that nut? It's my only hope! Hmm... I'll eat it up and get an A for sure. Only one nut falls every hundred years. Therefore, it is extremely important as a counter to the forgetfulness spell. Hmm. No fair. I found the nut. So, 100 years or not, it's mine. <laughs> Trouble will fly in if I don't get lunch ready soon. But what for dessert? Oh, walnut pie. That's what I'll make. Well, what about raspberries? Oh, no. Walnuts are perfect. Vitamins, micronutrients. Want to help? The magic one has to be here. Walnuts all empty? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, no matter. Raspberry it is. Archie, are you still mad at me? It's just, I have to pass that exam, no matter what. It's the immortal's favorite subject. Asleep? Wait! The fault pine! 
what's in a lurch? Uh, I don't remember anything. That knot wasn't magical. <gasps> Rooney, didn't you go to bed? That's crazy. I could never. It won't help anyway. You can't memorize that book in just one night. I know. I'm doomed. Good, Daria. Perfect. Now, who's next? You can do it, Rooney. Don't be afraid. Uh. <laughs> it's the forget-me-not. Princess Rooney, is something the matter? Aren't you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. The forget-me-not is a tree with pale blue flowers. It blooms year-round. Its fruit helps you memorize things. Rooney, excuse me. Come on. Ah, a very rare occurrence. And it just happens to match your topic. So let's continue this exam outside, shall we? But sadly, only one nut grows every hundred years, so it's very rare. Excellent, Rooney. You've earned a top grade all around. That 100-year wait is now over. Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> Enter. What is it? Mr. Immortal, I have to confess. I tricked you. The nut you've got is not the magic one. I ate the magic one because I wanted an A, but it didn't work. Rooney, I'm very glad that you found the courage to confess. I'm proud of you. Well done. But that nut is gone. No. How? This nut isn't the magic one. How could it show up in the tree again? Archie has returned the nut. Hooray! Archie, save the nut! From me. Mr. Immortal, I promise I will never do this again. Can I retake the exam? <laughs> of course, but no shortcuts this time. <laughs> time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream, they're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls. I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh no! What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers. Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Ah, oh, I've got to get help! <laughs> Hi, Marlene! Daria, why are you running? To find help! Ah, oh, Marlene! Thank goodness you're back already! Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power! You have? That's wonderful! Show me! Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh? Huh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon.
You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls, and she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <coughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look, over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Hey, Grab her, Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the Professor. Oh. to be oh. one of our best! Teach us! Oh. Professor, I'll cut off her escape! Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Stop! Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Shh. Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues. Turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Woo! Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right, but let's keep it our little secret. Daylight robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the immortal, at least compared to those. Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore. Well, awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Now come back! Get back here! This looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. 
Farewell light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night! What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime. I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour! We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should you? Uh -oh. I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell, or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey! Get off! <laughs> good try, princess, but not good enough. <laughs> oh, We're free now. Oh, that means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? <sighs> so hard. To see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? We're here! Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our act to do yours? She is entertaining, though. <laughs> <laughs> School Secret Magical buildings come in all shapes and sizes. And each and every one has its own unique secret. It might be a portal in a wardrobe or perhaps in the chimney. It could even be a magical hidden room. There are many possibilities. Allow me to show you in this image. You see, school, they had a we've covered all of the bases. Room too, huh? Your homework will be to write a report on a magical building. 
Yes? Then that will be all for today, class. <laughs> Ahem! Have you forgotten? It's one of our most important rules. Tidy your purse, then you shall be free. These textbooks should help us a lot with our report. 1001 Labyrinths. Secret rooms and those who live what there. What is your basement hiding? Why don't we study our own school? Surely we have secrets of our own. The boys' school had one. So why not? We had an entire secret room. Ugh, with a minotaur. You had a minotaur? We did. He's our principal, and that room was where he graded our homework. Remember the attic with the ghost rock band? Ghost, oh, ghosty, fly away. Oh, yeah. See? I bet we have tons of stuff like that here. Who wants to do the report on our school, then? Say on. They're called secrets for a reason. You could spend the whole time searching only to find nothing. We're still going to try. How should we begin? Where do schools usually hide the secrets? Well, the Minotaur's room was connected to the library. What about the cafe? Then we could make some tea. We should check in the hallway. There's a cold draft in there that always makes me shiver. Couldn't that come from a secret passageway? Why don't we split up, then? We can cover more ground. The Minotaur's room could be opened up by pulling on a particular book. But which is the correct one? Well, that depends. Ours is on the very top shelf. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, uh, everything's okay. Uh, everything's fine. Uh. Oh, well. I guess there is no portal here after all. In fairy tales, magical creatures get into houses through the fireplace. Maybe there's a portal here in our chimney. And there could also be a dangerous creature hiding in there. Ah! Don't be afraid. I will protect us. I'm not afraid. I just didn't expect it. Hey, who else is there? Come out. <coughs> <coughs> no portal there. It's all clean. <laughs> uh-huh. It couldn't be cleaner. Looks like no secret passages here. Let's go look in the classroom. <laughs> What's going on? How do we get out of here? I'll handle this. I don't understand. This invisible wall wasn't here before. Then let's try to remove the spell. May this barrier disappear so we can all get out of here. It's still there. Let me try. Snares, tricks, and booby traps make them all collapse. Doria, watch out for the invisible wall! I wonder what that was. Oh dear, who took all the paintings off the wall? Well, we were, uh, looking for a secret passage. Rooney, Doria can't see us. But she can see the painting, can't she? Oh, it's a flying painting! Shoo! Oh, show her! Doria, it's us, Rooney and Dorma. We're trapped in the hallway and can't get out. Please help. It's a mess in here, too. What has everyone been doing? Oh, come on. We were just about to start cleaning everything up. Rooney and Dorma are both invisible, but why? Osco, she can't see us either. There just has to be a book in here somewhere that can help me figure this out. <gasps> Who's there? Helen? Vosco? I need the history of Wondermont School. There must be something in it that will help me undo the spell. Let's look for it together. There it is! Magical characteristics. Aha! Uh -huh. The school does everything it can to aid in lessons. That's all? How is that supposed to help? Helen! Vosco! You can see us! Yay! And we're no longer trapped in the library! Remember the school's rule the professor was talking about? Tidy up first, then you shall be free! Now do you see? 
We found out that if someone makes a mess, the school doesn't let them leave the room. It makes them invisible, so they can't be distracted from cleaning. And that is the secret of your, uh, I mean, our school. I don't understand. Why hasn't this happened to us before? There was never a problem keeping things tidy before. But in pursuit of secrets, you crossed the line somewhat. As for the report, everyone gets an A. Well done. Yes. That is all for today. Don't forget to take your books along with you. Hmm, what bright students they are. So quick to catch on, too. <laughs>